Hey, what's up, Square of the Army? So I wanted to talk to you guys about the differences between what happened at the beginning of summer and the things that I said I was going to do and the things that actually happened during the summer. Like, did you actually do the things that you said you were going to do at the beginning of summer? Did you end up having fun at all? Actually, yes, I did. Well, shut up, no one cares about your opinion. Ugh. The differences between what you actually did during the summer and what you said you were going to do this summer. Yay. I said I was going to get buff. Boom. Said I was going to be beach ready and ready to go to the beach and uh, show off my beach body. Hmm, just kidding, that didn't actually happen. When I walked onto Manhattan Beach, I was like David Hasselhoff over here running in slow motion. Another difference between what I said I was going to do at the beginning of summer versus what actually happened during the summer was that I said I was going to make a lot of videos. I mean, it's not like I ended up making a video every single Monday, every single week this summer. I, I actually did. Look what you guys do to me! I so wanted to spend this entire summer trying to catch up with quality time with my bed because this bed has been eluding me so much this school year, it's not even funny. Oh, I missed you so much, Ben. I missed you too! But you guys got all up on my ass asking me to bust my hump for something that I really do not like doing. Okay, here's the catch. Most of what I just said was a lot. I relax a little too much. What am I doing with my hands? Isn't the point of summer vacation to not do anything stressful or work related at all and just relax the entire summer away? Nope, it was just extremely stressful for me because I had to keep up making a video every single week. Really don't get how you big YouTubers do it like every single day. But I got a few words to say to you guys. I'm not worthy. Just in case you guys didn't know, I had my birthday a couple days ago and I had a slew of firsts over the summer as well. We'll start off that really, really long list with my personal favorite. This was the first summer I utilized the use of cut editing. Oh wait, I do that all the time, don't I? But in all seriousness, I'm pretty sure the only true first that I had this summer was this was the first year I went to LA and played beach soccer with my friends. Not only was this the first summer that we went to see a professional soccer game, it was the first time we ever saw two soccer games back to back. This is not two. I said I wanted a panda for my birthday, and did I get one? I even said it in one of my very first videos of the summer. Do you like pancakes? Screw pancakes, I want a panda for my birthday. Oh wait, I, I messed up my line. Yeah, we like pancakes. Do you like waffles? Go fish. Well, that last scene could have just been me re-editing one of my old footages to make it look like I said I wanted a panda for my birthday. Or maybe it's not. Okay, yeah, so I was fibbing. But I did say that I wanted to become a better soccer player and a freestyle dancer, so that didn't go over well either. I'm upside down! Pikachu, you failed to catch me! I could have broken something! Namely, my pride. Sadly, none of those came true. Now if you'll excuse me, I gotta go take a shite. Over the past week, I've been spending many a times playing this awesome app that my brother just showed me. You notice I was playing Temple Run a little too much, if you know what I mean. And I was like, no I don't. Okay, maybe I do. So he told me about this super cool awesome free app called Fun Run, which takes the best of Mario Kart and put it together with Super Mario to produce a super gory baby. Like, ridiculously gory baby. If you guys have an iPod or a smartphone, be sure to add this app to your smartphone or iPod because it's a super fun app and it's also free. Did I mention it's free? And if you guys already happen to have the app, be sure to add me on there as Squirrely Fun Run. Yeah, I'm running out of ideas for original usernames for everything. But yeah, Squirrely spelled with one L. Okay, I might have slacked off this entire summer by not putting up any soccer videos this summer. Like, literally, I didn't put up any soccer videos this summer. But I am getting a lot of footage ready for FIFA Street Adventures 2013 that I will have ready for you guys at the end of the year, so don't worry about that. But overall, this entire summer has been one of the best summers I've ever had. Especially considering this is only one of the 23rd summers I've ever had. I want to give a special shout out to one of my Squirrely fans who drew this awesome chibi version of me while I was wearing my Zelda shirt. Her username's like Kadelu or something. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Anyway, here's the picture. Okay, that's not the right picture. That's the picture. I want to apologize to you guys for not putting up the video last Monday, but some things came up and uh, I did not feel right about putting that video up, but I will probably put that video up someday in the future. Who knows, I might actually put that video up like two years from now and then it'll just look really funny. But in that video I was going to announce the Swirly Fan of the Week, but I did, since I didn't, I actually never gave that person the chance to do the Swirly Fan of the Week. So since this is also my last video of the summer, I'm going to do something special. I'm going to give that person their special fan, Squirrely Fan of the Week from last week and this week as well. But the person who wins this one is going to be the Squirrely Fan for the rest of the semester while I'm gone. 
So here's the rules for the very last Squirrely Fan of the Week slash month that I'm actually going to do for the summer. If you guys watched my videos this summer, be sure to leave me a comment in the comments below telling me what your favorite Squirrely video of the month the summer was, and I will pick one of those random comments to be the Squirrely Fan of the Fall, I guess, or the Summer for whichever season I decide to talk about. And since it's a possibility I won't be able to talk to you guys during the school year, I do want to at least make a quick note that September 6, 2013, I will have been on YouTube for five years. Five years. So I will probably put up a quick video on either Instagram, Squirrely Vlogs, or some other form of media that I don't think I know I have, commemorating my YouTube anniversary of five years. So, yeah. This is Ralph, and it's been your daily dose of Squirrely. So peace out to my Squirrely Brushies. Later!